Hello and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhat in which we would look at the income statement. The income statement is one of the major financial statements along the balance sheet as well as the statements of cash flow. If you are an accounting student or a CPA candidate, especially if you're a CPA candidate, I strongly suggest you check out my website farhatlectures.com. I do not replace your CPA prep course if you are taking Becker, Roger, Wiley, Glime, or any other course. I can be a useful addition, the most useful addition that's going to help you understand the material so you can pass the exam. If you are an accounting student, I strongly suggest you check out my website for additional material for your accounting courses. Also, if you're a CPA candidate, what I suggest you do is to check out my website. If not for anything, it's for your, your university CPA score. You want to know how well is your university performing on the exam? By, I have that by average, overall average, by section, and by age group. So it's very, very interesting. Also, check out my, uh, connect with me on LinkedIn, like my YouTube, subscribe so you'll, you'll have uh, access to more material. When I post, I, I post almost on a daily basis. Connect with me only on Instagram and Facebook. So let's take a look at the income statement. What goes on the income statement? So what figures goes on the income statement? What goes on the income statement? Well, four things mainly go on the income statement and those are revenues minus expenses plus gains minus losses. So those are those are the main thing, revenues minus expenses. We talked about gain and losses uh, in chapter two to define them. We're gonna look, look at them again. So let's take a look at the elements and look at each element separately, although we covered this in a prior session, but it's good to go back and review this. So what is revenue? Re revenue is an inflow or other enhancement of assets or settlement of liabilities. So either you increase your assets or you reduce your liabilities. That's, 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 a, that's a result that constitute the entity's ongoing ma major central operation. So each company has a different source of revenue. For example, Apple, Apple computers, they sell phones, mainly phones, computers so they're in the sales business mostly Google the revenue is ad revenue um, any shop in the mall they sell sales revenue okay for example a school they have the tuition revenue so each business will have a different type of revenue depends on what they do examples of revenues are sales some companies charges fees some companies uh, if they lend money, they have interest revenue. Some companies they invest. Some company they rent. Okay, so each company will have a different source of revenue depending on what you do for a living. That's what determines your revenue. For example, you as a student, most probably right now you have a part-time job and that's your revenue. Okay, or a full-time job, it doesn't matter, but that's your revenue. It's what you do. What is your central? What's your entity ongoing major or central operation? That's how you generate your revenue. Okay, expenses, the definition of expenses are outflow or other using of assets or incurrence of liabilities. So either your asset goes down or your liabilities go up. This is what happened when you incur an expense. Because every time you incur an expense, you debit an expense, you credit an asset, or you debit an expense and credit a liability. Okay, this is when you actually incur the asset, when you basically, usually you credit cash, and here's when the liability is accrued. This is accrued liabilities. Basically, the expense happened, but you're gonna pay for it later. So expenses as a result also of ongoing operation. The result, the entity's ongoing major and central operation. So each company, when they operate, it will be great if you could only generate revenues without expenses, but companies generate various expenses. For example, a merchandiser, they will have something called cost of goods sold. When they buy something, they pay for it. And when they sell it, it becomes cost of goods sold. If a company has assets, plant assets, they will have depreciation expense. If they borrow money, they'll have interest expense. They might be renting something. They will, obviously, they will have salaries and wages. They will have employees. They will have taxes. They will have insurance. Any expense that's going to help the company that's going to help the company do what? That's going to help run the company is considered an expense. Is considered an expense. Now, another two items that affect the income statements are gains and losses. Again, we talked about this, but I will go through this again. Gains are increases in net asset or increases in equity from peripheral or incidental 
things that happen once in a while once in a while so it happens one once in a while so once in a while you may incur a gain and basically what is a gain it has nothing to do with your ongoing operation nothing to do to do with the ongoing ongoing or central or central operation because if it's it has to it has something to do with ongoing or central operation then it's revenue a good example will be let's go back to Apple computers Apple computers might invest in another company they might buy stocks in another company they may sell that stock and generate a gain we don't call it revenue because Apple computers is not in the business of buying and selling stocks they're in the business of producing uh, uh, phones computers uh, and generating revenues from those items okay losses are decreases in net asset or equity net asset and equity are the same also from peripheral or incidental operation what are some examples of gains and losses sale of investments or plant assets so you sell an investment or you sell one of your plant asset settlement of a liability sometimes it could be a gain or a loss if you, if you do this every once in a while so every once in a while you may pay off your debt and as a result you may have a gain or a loss write off of assets for example your asset is no longer as good as you thought then you write it off when you write it off you incur a loss because the asset lost value so it's called a loss it's not called an expense because when you buy assets you don't buy assets under the impression that your assets will go bad so those are the four different accounts of the income statement the next thing we're gonna look at we're gonna actually prepare an income statement just to see what it looks like and again we're gonna be preparing to a great degree a straightforward income statement before we kind of start to hit more the, the new items so format of the income statement just the first thing you need to know gap allows you to format it allows the multiple multiple step and the single step so we could prepare the financial statements using two two sections the multiple step and the single step income statement okay when 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 we when when we use the multiple step income statement we're going to have what's called intermediate component intermediate component basically we're going to have sub components we're going to have various component within the income statement okay so we're going to separate operating transaction from non-operating so when we prepare the income statement using the multiple step we're going to have a section that deals with operating and section that deals with non-operating non-operating so we're going to uh, separate those we're going to match costs and expenses with related revenues so anytime we have cost and revenues that that's related we're going we're to put them together we're going to highlight certain components of income that analysts use to assess our financial performance so basically with the multiple step income statement what we are doing we are helping the analyst we're helping the analyst uh, look at our performance look at our performance now there's a multiple step income statement in your textbook you could look at it I'm, we're going to look at an income statement shortly but this is what the multiple step income statement is but we could have more sections so common for companies to present some of all or all of the following sections and total within the income statement so the income statement could have something called an operating section it could have an operating section non-operating section obviously it will definitely should have an operating section will have an income tax then it will have certain items that we did not cover yet and you did not see yet in in your courses unless you are retaking this course we're going to have an item called discontinued operation non-controlling interest and we're going to present earnings per share everything that I highlighted in yellow I will cover later so this is going to be covered later later soon we're going to cover it here in this in this chapter but not in this session so we're going to look at a company now we're going to look at the three components that that I just highlighted which will show the operating non-operating and income tax and show the intermediate steps for a multiple step income statement Okay. so this is an income statement and basically what it boils down to is revenues minus expenses so this is an income statement and uh, basically what's gonna happen is we're gonna look at the various component and analyze not analyze just look point out certain items that you should be looking for for example in a multiple step income statement we will show 
how the company came with net sales. So we would show how the company came with net sales. Let me highlight things in yellow. How we came with net sales, which is sales, $3,053,081, minus sales discount, minus sales returns and allowances, gives us net sales. Then from sales, we'll subtract cost of goods sold. Sales minus cost of goods sold gives us an important number that we highlight to investors and to analysts, and that's gross profit. So this is an important figure. This is an intermediate component. We'll tell, we are telling the users, this is how much we are making after our cost of goods sold. This is important. This is going to help users compare our company to our competitors. Then we are going to list our operating expenses. Again, operating expenses means operating section, operating section of the income statement. And we're going to break them into selling expenses and administrative expenses. And selling expenses has to do with anything that helps us sell the product. Like what? Sales salaries and commission. This is a selling expense. Sales office salaries, travels and entertainment, advertising, freight and transportation out when we ship things to customers, shipping supplies and expense, posters and postage and stationery, telephone and internet expense. That's assuming it's related to the selling effort, depreciation of sales equipment. So anything that goes into the selling effort, any expense, we list it separately. So all these expenses are selling effort, direct selling effort. So these expenses are incurred to, to increase our sales, to serve the selling. Now the company will also have administrative expenses. Those are expenses that has not directly related to sales. So they are not directly related to sales. So what are they related to? They are related to the overall operation of the company, the officer's salaries, office salaries, legal and professional services, like professional services as accounting, services you know and and again uh, uh, you need an accountant even if you're selling if you're not selling or selling the product you still need somebody to take care of your books to file your income taxes so accounting is not a selling expense it's an administrative expense utilities expense utilities but this is for non non selling insurance expense you could also have for example insurance expense under selling if you are insuring some of the vehicles that you're using in your selling effort or some of your some of the trucks depreciation of building depreciation of office equipment notice stationary supplies and postage you have them in both well some of the stationary you are postage and stationary you are using in your selling effort so they would be listed under selling and some of it is being used un, under the administrative effort so notice the same expense could be in two different places then miscellaneous expense okay so now this section here, this is the operating section. Let me delete because I have a lot of stuff. So this is the operating section. And again, this section will take a gross profit minus selling and administrative expenses, gives us income from operation. Once again, this is an important number because this tells us if the company is operating their business and they are making profit from their central ongoing operation. So when I say, when we use the word central and ongoing, this is your central this is your central operation this is your central operation central or ongoing this is what the company do what they sell and what they incur expenses to run their business and you want the company to be positive here and positive here big positive here and positive here on both on both of these figures both of these figures especially gross profit then the company would list their non-operating expenses. Once again, non-operating expenses could be dividend revenue, rent revenue. Now, if you're in the renting business, if that's what you do for a living, then rent revenue will be part of your central and ongoing operation. But here, this company, we're going to assume it's not in selling. This company in, you know, their merchandiser, so they don't have rent revenue. Also, the company will have other expenses and losses, such as interest on bonds. So the company might borrow money, so they'll have interest. This is part of their non-operating section. You keep those two sections separately because you want the investors, you want the creditors to know how well you are doing from running your business. Also, you would list your income tax separately. So they would, investors will judge how well you are managing your tax bill. Then. At the end, you would have something called earnings per share. Earnings per share will be covered later on in this chapter. I'm not going to go over earnings per share right now.
this is the multiple step income statement this is the condensed income statement condensed or uh, it's called single step condensed or no, not single step uh, this is called the condensed income statement basically we condense everything you want to call it single step that's fine but it's condensed so basically we'll take net sales minus cost of goods sold gives us gross profit then selling expenses actually this is condensed this is not the single step uh, um, because the single step emphasizes revenues minus expenses it will it will have everything combined together um, it, it will have everything combined together maybe I should go to the textbook to see if there's a single step income statement um, but let's take a look at this this is a condensed format so notice all the selling expenses 453 notice 453 what we do instead of putting them on the face of the financial statements we'll tell the users to see note D C note D to figure out the numbers then we will have operating and non-operating so this is a condensed format single step this is the single step income statement single step income statement is basically you will take all your revenues condensed not condense them combine them together minus all your expenses all put together so notice this is a single step all the revenues sales dividend and rent they're all combined together then all the expenses cost of goods sold selling administrative interest income tax all combined so we emphasize one single figure for revenues one single figure for expenses net income will be the same under either 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 method 164 489 let me go back to the to this income statement 164 89 164 89 so the net income is the same it's just the way it's presented the way it's presented okay and basically the condensed income statement the one here is because you don't want to show too many things uh, because you sometimes you have a lot of expenses and if someone is interested they will go to the finance to the, they will go to the note to look at your expenses but you don't want to overwhelm them okay um, questions the single step income statement emphasizes what so this is the single step does it em emphasize gross profit no it doesn't because gross profit is part of sales minus gross uh, sales minus cost of goods sold and it doesn't do that is it total revenues and total expenses yes the single step take all your revenues minus all your expenses extraordinary items more than it's emphasized in the multiple step no the various components of the income from continuing operation no it doesn't show any various components it just tells you your total revenues and your total expenses so the answer is B this is what it emphasizes now let's take a look and what you should do now this is exercise 4-5 I suggest you pause this recording and see if you could prepare an income statement based on the data that you are giving based on the data that you are giving okay and let's see how well you did so first what do you start with we start with sales sales right here we'll start with sales sales is done then we would calculate cost of goods sold cost of goods sold is giving sales minus cost of goods sold gives us what gives us gross profit this is a figure then what we do is we have two type of operating expenses we have selling and administrative so our operating expenses now we're gonna have selling expenses and here the selling expenses are listed for you freight out which is transportation sales commission and depreciation those are your selling expenses so they combine them and put them right here then you have also administrative expenses administrative expenses which is uh, also given to you right here those are your administrative expenses then gross profit minus gross profit minus your total operating expenses gives us income from continuing operation this is an important figure then we would list other revenues and expenses we have rent revenue we have interest expense and total other which is positive notice this company this company is not doing I'm, I'm not saying it's not doing well but they're making more revenue from what they do okay so this is just point out to you that that's why it's important to show the central operating 
versus other revenues if you blend them together then the users don't know what's going on okay so I see that why is the company making more revenue more profit from from things that they're not in the business of from rent revenue so they they have rent revenue more than more than profit that they make from what they're from what they do okay then we have income tax which is nine thousand and seventy dollars then we have net income okay so this is an income statement hopefully you know how to prepare a basic income statement the reason I emphasize this because we're gonna be adding more complication more items items that you never saw before at the end of this recording I'm gonna invite you again to like this recording share it and check out my website farhatlectures.com especially if you are a CPA candidate your CPA is a lifetime investment don't shortchange yourself I can add 10 to 15 points on your CPA exam your CPA is 30 to 40 year investment in your career it's worth it to take every option you have to study for the exam most importantly Stay safe and good luck.